Question 10, the circle question, find the centre and radius of the circle. What a, what a nice thing to have that kind of question because uh, we, we, um, we practice this so much that this is, this is a great three marks, isn't it? Why am I rewriting? Oh yeah, so uh, I like rewriting it. There we go, let's concentrate. With the little gaps in there so we can fill in the gaps. I've not left myself enough gaps. Oh, I talk on long suddenly. Maybe I should just start this whole one again. So uh, in this gap here, uh, half of minus 8 is minus 4. Minus 4 squared is 16. I want a 16 in there. So I need to take away 16 from there. A half of minus 6 is minus 3 squared is plus 9. So I need to take away a 9 as well over there. That gives me an x minus 4 on squared, a y minus 3 on squared, and 20 plus 16 plus 9 is going to be 45. So that's my equation in the form that we like it. We can now say that the centre is the point 4, 3, and the radius is root 45. Uh, root 45 are due. We recognise 45 is 9 fives, so that's 3 root 5 if we want to simplify the search. Brilliant. The circle crosses the positive x axis at the point A. Find the equation of the tangent to the circle at A. Just to save a little bit of time, I'm going to draw on this diagram here rather than draw my own. But we know, don't we, that the tangent at A is perpendicular to the radius at A. We know that that is the point three, uh, 4, 3, from what we've just established. I think there's a few things we need to work out. I need to know the gradient of the line from the centre of the circle to A, because my tangent is perpendicular to that line. I've got A's Y coordinate, I haven't got its X coordinate. So before I do anything else, I need to find the x-coordinate at a. At a, y equals 0, so we're left with x squared minus 8x minus 20 being 0. That's if we replace y with 0 in our equation of the circle. Um, does it? 10 and 2. Yes. x minus 10 x plus 2, so a is either the point where x equals 10 or x equals minus 2. Uh, the, curve, the circle crosses the positive x-axis at the point a, so the a value must be positive, it must be 10, it's not the minus 2. That is of course that point there, isn't it, that we just found out as being minus 2. So a is the point 10, 0. Uh, the centre of the circle was the point 4, 3. So the gradient AC is change in Y over change in X. That's a 0, sorry. Uh, 3 minus 0 over 4 minus 10. That is 3 over negative 6. That's minus a half. That's the gradient of AC. That's the gradient of my radius. So the tangent at A has a gradient of 2. The negative reciprocal of my radius gradient. So the line that I'm looking for, the tangent at A, goes to the point 10, 0 with gradient 2. Y minus Y1 is M X minus X1. Y equals 2X minus 20 there is my tangent. For real. Six marks. A second tangent to the circle is parallel to the tangent to A. Find the equation of this second tangent. Alright, well if the second tangent, which is parallel to that one, the only way we could have a tangent that's parallel is that line if it didn't miss. Is the line up there? Yes. Oh, come on where the other end of the same diameter 
meets that point. That's the, that's the point it must go through, isn't it? It's the other end of the same diameter. So A, we established is the point 10, 0. Uh, there's, all, there's all sorts of ways you can think about this. You can just do it by similar triangles. I would just do it with similar triangles. In order to get from the point A to the point C, I've gone along 6 in that direction and up 3. So to get from the point C to that point up there, I'm going to go along 6 and up 3. So C must be the point minus 2, 9. I, I've just added 6 both times. Hang on. Minus 2, 6. I'm happy with that. Do you see what we've done? That triangle takes us 6 along and 3 up. So that triangle there must take us 6 along and 3 up. 6 along and 3 up takes us to that point. So the other, the other point, I, I, for some reason I've called it B. The other point there... Is the point minus two six? Uh, you could arrive at that in any number of different ways, uh, and the the line has a gradient of two because it's parallel to that one. Y minus y one is m x minus x one, giving us y minus six is two x plus four, so y equals two x. Plus 10. There we go. That's our other line parallel to that one. There we go. Brilliant. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I was just thinking about stuff. Uh, there's still part four to go. Don't stop the video. Right, good. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, right, last part. Uh, another circle has centre at the origin, radius r. This circle lies wholly inside the first circle. Find the centre of possible values. Uh, I copied the wrong bit there. Of r. It did say of r, didn't it? Centre of possible values of r. Right. So, um, can I still annotate my same diagram? This isn't, isn't great, is it? But if we, um, if we try and draw this circle in here, centre the origin. There we are fitting in there. Now the crucial thing with this is we're going to think um, how, how can we relate the radius of this new circle to that? Well, it's that line that matters there, isn't it? This line from the centre to that point there. Now that is a radius. The shortest distance from, from along that back that's the radius of our little circle, that's the radius of the big circle. Does that make sense? So what I need to know is what is, what is that distance there? What is that distance from the origin to where the circle meets it? Well, I know a few things. I know that the, the distance from the centre to that point is 3 root 5. It's my radius of my circle. I also, I think I know the distance from the centre to the origin, which just leaves me with that bit. The centre to the origin is a lovely little 3, 4, 5 triangle, isn't it? The centre to the origin, sorry I've ended up just writing everything on this one diagram, I should have drawn my own diagram, I feel bad about that. But look, there's, there's a little right angle triangle, that right angle triangle has that distance of 4 and that distance of 3, so by Pythagoras theorem, the distance OC, as I've called it, is the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared. OC is a distance of 5. In order for that little circle to fit, then the radius must be less than, than what's left of that bit. So the radius has to be less than... 3 root 5, take away the 5 that we've taken out, um, and, and actually, it is kind of obvious, but radius has to be bigger than 0, but I, I'm not really sure. You could get away with not putting that bit in there. Clearly, the radius has to be bigger than 0, but it has to be less than 
that little gap in the left, which is that. If you wrote root 45 minus 5, that's absolutely fine. And that's some circle stuff maths.